So, folks, um, we got a problem. Our republic, our representative democracy, is neither representative nor a democracy. Democracy, literally demos the people, kratia, have the power, has embedded in it the notion that political power is shared equally amongst the voters. One person, one vote. But because of how we vote, we're actually unequal, and that inequality leads to the crazy political reality we deal with every day. Now, I'm not talking about money in politics, not talking about gerrymandering, not talking about the electoral college or uh, the partisan primary system. I'm talking about something much deeper, the fundamental, the root inequality in the actual mechanism of how we vote. Now, a voting method is an algorithm that takes all the preferences of the voters and it churns out a result. And the voting method we use is the single worst voting method that humans have ever invented. Here's why. In every election, we're limited to one choice, no matter how many candidates are running. Now, if there are just two, it's no problem. It works every time. The majority preference is, is acknowledged. But every time there's more than two, the more similar candidates split votes, which means if you like more than one candidate, you have less power than people who like just one which is why we have spoiled elections. It's why people say, don't waste your vote on that long shot candidate you really like, and instead vote for the lesser evil who's raised the most money on your side, which is why we end up with partisan, gridlocked, governments dominated by cash. Sucks. So how do we fix this horrible problem? Well, uh, it turns out there have been dozens of new voting methods introduced, invented over you know, centuries and so on. Um, and you know, they generally fall into one of two categories. There are the ranking systems where you order your preferences. It's my first choice, second choice, third choice. And there are the rating systems where you actually ascribe an independent measure of value to each one. Like you know, think about Olympic judging or product reviews on Amazon. And as you might guess, there's some disagreement about which one's best. Uh, voting scientists over many years have come up with all these criteria for voting systems and they say well i like this criteria and bash all the voting systems that don't meet that particular criteria so for example uh, fair vote which is the na nation's leading advocacy group for a voting system called instant runoff really likes the later no harm criterion which means that for systems that pass later no harm you can support a second candidate without that support harming the potential for your first choice to win. But it doesn't say anything about whether it was actually safe to support your first choice in the first place. Now, the Center for Election Science, uh, they're the advocates for rating methods like approval and score voting. They really like the favorite betrayal criterion, which says that systems that pass favorite betrayal, you're never gonna get a worse outcome by offering full support to your very favorite candidate. Now, at equal vote, we have five criteria. They are equality, honesty, accuracy, simplicity, and expressiveness. And by those measures, there's actually there's a new system that outshines all the rest. We call it star voting. S score, then automatic runoff. And here's how it works. On the ballot, you score the candidates, like zero to five, and then the two candidates who get the highest scores advance to a runoff. In that runoff, your full vote is automatically assigned to whichever one you gave a higher score. If you gave them both the same score, well, then you abstain in the runoff. So according to our criteria, equality, scoring is what makes it equal. So for however you score the candidates, I can score them in a balancing way so that it neutralizes the vote. The runoff keeps us honest. It actually gives an incentive for you to differentiate your scores if you have a difference of opinion, rather than just sort of like bullet voting your one favorite or maximizing the scores of everyone on your side. It's incredibly accurate. So voting scientists recently have simulated it. It simulates best in the pack in terms of creating accurate representations of the will of the electorate. It's very simple, right? It's two rounds that are precinct summable. Everyone, I mean, scoring is ubiquitous in our culture. It's very expressive, so you're not just ranking, ordering, you're actually able to express a certain level of support for everyone on the ballot. And it's never been used in a real political election. Why? Because it's a brand new thing. It was invented here in Lane County, 
as the unlikely outcome of a debate in 2014 between some of the nation's leading advocates of ranking and rated voting systems, and it sort of bridges and breaks the trade-offs between both. So if we're gonna heal our representative democracy, we actually need to have one in the first place, and we should do it here first. So go to equal.vote, check it out. Thank you.